Eastern Michigan did though. Woo! Epsilani. I was recruited as a one star, but I'ma go far. I'ma play my part. We on top every time you check the scoreboard. Wait no more. I'm here to bring the championship home. I don't care who died of me. I'm here to prove them all wrong. Yeah, I'm back on my back again. You give me the chance, I win. I do it for me and I promise you won't die me again. The haters they died at me. I know they all be listening. It ain't no stopping me. I'm here to make us champions. Boom, man, fellas, we are national champions. Guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. So please, kill the like button if you guys love this series. Oh, we're taking this to the NFL. Um, essentially won the national championship in the last video. I could not be happier. I can't stop smiling. That was so fun. Craziest game ever. Probably some of the most fun I've ever had playing any video game. Even watching it back, I was I played it and I was watching it back like I was like, like I was there. Um so fun. Thank you to all of you who watched the NCAA portion. This continues though. And um, I got a lot. This is going to be a lot of fun. I think I have this set up really, really, really well for entertainment. By We're actually going to be watching the draft as if I am actually the player. Letting the draft play through and I have no sweet clue where I am going to be going. Bob bam look on the screen. Okay, so essentially... What you're going to see, this is it, bro. This, this, this is the NFL draft. This is everything, man. Uh, a lot of these guys, you can see Carlos Branch, who we played against, um, a Heisman finalist. You can see Noah Parks, who actually was second only behind Jeremy Ross for the Heisman, um, are all in this top five kind of pick range. Uh, I also want to show you guys Geschwent, how his first season went. I got a lot to show. But essentially, guys, we're drafting. Um... Jeremy Ross, so you can look at Jeremy Ross if you want to see Jeremy Ross, six foot three, top. Before I even get to myself, let's talk about him. Needs to work on simple concentration, exceptional body control on the sidelines. Could not be more true. Fights for every inch. No issue climbing ladder to make catches. Avoids big hits. All of these things. Top fits are the Bucks, the Niners, physicals, elite speed, elite acceleration. The combine has not happened. A awareness, a spectacular catch. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Ross currently is projected to go by most mock drafts in the top like five. And we'll get to the main mock draft here in a minute. I obviously am also in this draft class with a lot of other people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am. And this was not something that I just did. A lot of people helped with this. A lot of comments. You guys, your comments went into this through everything. I am ranked the third best quarterback coming out of the draft. I'll show you guys my scouting profile. Whether the window is open or closed, he's slinging it. Boom! That's so true, man. Interception problem. But I can throw the ball. My key ratings, my deep accuracy from my senior year is an A. I think had I went the previous, I don't think it would have been that. I have really good deep accuracy. Beautiful spiral. Could use to improve at recognizing pressure. Does well to avoid sacks by throwing the ball away. Plays well within and outside the pocket. Fast, prototypical throwing motion. This is me, guys. This is freaking me. Um, as far as my physicals, my speed's decent, my strength is decent, my throw power is good, my acceleration, I'm, there's nothing that I do that's crazy. My awareness, and honestly, I think it's the interceptions that are killing me and the awareness and the fact that a few times my clock management in the national championship was absolutely downright horrendous. Um, my awareness is low, but my accuracy stats are really, really good. Under pressure, I'm pretty good. Juke move, I'm not going to like wow anyone with speed. I am kind of what I am, you know? I, I do a lot of things well. Currently, my top fits are the Raiders, the Vikings, and the New York Giants currently in the NFL draft. I want to show you all the Eastern Michigan people. You're going to recognize as you go through a lot of these dudes, like way more than you think, are actually people that we would have played that are actually in the NCAA 14. I do want to show you the next guy. Andrew Gilmore. Um, he's round two, three projected. I said he would be. He was an 85 overall. Dude was an absolute beast. Um, he's super fast, as you guys got. He's got great speed. Andrew Gilmore is going to get drafted. Maybe, hopefully, to the same team. I would love to be on a team with a coach that would actually respect Andrew Gilmore and give him the opportunities that he needs to be successful because there was times when this dude did not get a shake. He did not really get a fair shake at EMU, but he had a really good national championship. Guys, Andrew Gilmore is in the draft class. The last EMU, because I, I was trying to make it realistic, Troy Burks is also, um, he's going to get drafted today. Dude had a really good college career. 
A awareness, A catching, hardly a drop. Needs to work. See, I disagree with the player notes because I would say he was probably my most consistent guy on Eastern Michigan. Exceptional body control on the sidelines, fights for every single run, no issues like the climbing ladder, avoids big hits. He's a beast. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. Troy Burks is an absolute beast. His top fits are Washington, uh, Miami, and the Broncos. There's some other EMU guys that probably won't get drafted, most likely going to be under drafted free agent. Guys, I want to fill you in on Geschwind. Everybody loves Geschwind. How Geschwind did in this year. So, the Bills ended up winning the Super Bowl this season. This is the most shocking thing about Geschwind. So, Geschwind was drafted to a team. They ended up re-signing Higgins. Geschwind was kind of the forgotten man as a rookie. He really, really, really was. Star development, six foot two, 23 years old. The Bengals did not show him near as much respect as I thought they would for a first round pick. Honestly, the main reason being Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase. Like that's three receivers that because they kept all those, I wonder if they drafted them thinking that they were going to go another direction. I don't know. The fact that they have all these dudes, I think potentially one of them, I don't know if T. Higgins is around another year. I think he may be. Yeah, you see, T. Higgins is going to be a free agent most likely. So next year, Geschwend, you're going to see a big leap from Geschwend. Hope the best for him. Um, but yeah, I wanted to fill you guys in on all the EM, you guys who are already in the NFL. Um, the Chiefs, Robert Paul played the entire year. No catches. He was a practice squad guy. I'm just going to call it how it was. Robert Paul did not get a lot of looks um, on the Chiefs. The Jets, um, another guy who's kind of sad, Jace John Goodman. Hopefully, he's got a future starter tag on him. He's 72 overall. I hope Goodman gets a chance. I really do. It's tough for these guys out of Eastern Michigan, dude. It really, really, really is. Goodman, no chances. Um, he was drafted in the sixth round, so you don't really expect that. I think potentially this year he might be able to get a little bit more look. Yeah, round six, not the greatest of seasons. Um, I'll show you some other EMU alum that are in the NFL currently. Um, Damian Parham, uh, he's a, in his second year. He had four touchdowns, used kind of as a power back, um, average 3.6, does that ever look familiar? Um, but yeah, he was used, uh, he, he plays for the Chargers, and he's actually a pretty solid player. Um, 15 catches for 182 receiving, he's kind of the receiving back. Um, Austin Eckler obviously does that really, really well, but if Austin Eckler ever decides to retire, Damian Parham is actually having him himself, uh, probably of the alums, one of the best careers, if not the best. Um, at this point, there's another, uh, uh, I'm trying to think was Xavier Howard. Um, yeah, Edward Howard is on the Colts and he doesn't play. He's a practice squad. We got lots of practice squad guys. Uh, unfortunately not a ton of big names. Now, as far as people from last season, uh, who you might want to see the man who beat us, Corey Harris came into the league, went crazy. Um, 4,400 yards, 29 touchdowns, 13 uh, interceptions and also ran for 215 yards. Corey Harris is as advertised. The, the, this dude is a surefire, absolute beast. I don't know why his development's bronze. I'm probably going to change that. It, it really should not be bronze, but Corey Harris had a really, really good season. Other people that you guys will remember from the last draft, other than Geschwent, the Jaguars picked up the kid from Bowling Green that you guys remember us playing against. Uh, a guy by the name of uh, Sean Hinn. Wow! The disrespect! See, a lot of these rookies are not just Madden wise, not getting the reps. These are just like Michael Mayer did. They got, the thing is, they got Kirk Mayer Ridley. Like, that is, he was the next receiver, but they never used another receiver. That's wild to me that Hand, Hand was uh, like a second round pick for them. Did not get any other respect that he deserved. Guys, those are the EMU alums. So, the draft is coming. Um, let's sim through free agency and then we'll have more answers on mock drafts and stuff. Okay, so apparently I did not go to the combine. I sat the combine out. Jeremy Ross went to the combine though and ran a four. Maybe we'll, we'll have pro day data, but Jeremy Ross ran a 4-3-1. Let's see, I potentially had a pro day. It's weird that I'm not, that I don't have anything there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we should have start having some data uh, some combine and pro day data. So let's first look at us. Um, Steven Wilcox from Michigan. 
Michigan, dude, we're we're kind of we're kind of tied. Eastern Michigan and Michigan. I don't know if I would have went to the combine. I did not go to the combine or the pro day. I stayed super. Tough. Neither did a lot of these quarterbacks actually. But we probably can get data from Jeremy Ross and see exactly what Jeremy Ross. Holy schmoly, he ran a four two nine. Yeah, Jeremy Ross is gonna be a top five pick. Four two nine at six foot three, two hundred and thirty two pounds. And won the Heisman. Jeremy Ross is a freaking lottery pick. Okay, who else? Andrew Gilmore. I always said if he, I always said if he went to the combine, he would kill it, and he did. Four three two. Yeah, that'll bump him up a lot. I always said if Andrew Gilmore got to go to the combine, you would notice him. He can be an absolute beast. Uh, I'm a little worried about my tight end because he's not like a physical like specimen. Four six though. Hey, that actually is probably, I was worried it was going to be like a 4A+. plus. We currently, on ourselves, we have no data. We did not participate. What about some mock drafts? Let's look at the mock. Do we have mock draft 5 yet? We do. Oh my gosh. Okay, current mock drafts. Isaiah Knight goes number one. Carlos Branch goes to the Ravens lose freaking Lamar. Nathan Payton goes two. Noah Parks goes three to the Minnesota Vikings. Jeremy Ross goes nine to the New York Jets. Brett Bear, I am currently projected to be moving to Tampa Bay to be the new sheriff in a town that does not have Brady in it at pick number 17. Oh my gosh. The Saints, it does not. I want to look at some of these teams. Before we get into the draft, I know I'm this is taking me. I want to look at some of these teams and just see like. For example, like, who really needs a quarterback? Who do the Buccaneers have? Yeah, oh, the Buccaneers could be a good fit. They got Grayson McCall and Jordan Love. That could be a really good fit. The Vikings kind of said they were going to take a QB. They only got Geno. It's going to be a race between me and these other teams for where we are about to end up. There's a lot of teams. They have the Ravens taking a quarterback. Lamar left? Oh my gosh, Lamar left. The Saints need a quarterback down bad. They are, oof, there is a lot of teams. I would say there is a very good, little Jalen Hurts place for the Titans now. That's an interesting little swing of things. Can you let this computer sim the franchise? Chargers need a quarterback bad. Where's Herbert? I'm guessing some of these dudes hit free agency. Herbert's a giant. Trevor Lawrence is obviously killing it. Lions could really use a quarterback. Jared Goff. Detroit would be a very interesting fit. And see, this is exactly what I told you would freaking happen. T. Higgins signed to the Lions. Meaning, and I think this was all now Geschwind's receiver number two. Geschwind will have a big sophomore year. It just wasn't meant to be in his first year. Geschwind is going to get his reps. Geschwind is going to get respect. Um, where are these people drafting? Because... Why couldn't I, like, okay, the Lions at seven, bro. They're, they need a quarterback bad. Why is Jeremy Ross falling? I would say the Chargers and the Lions. What about mock draft four? They had us going Bucks. Every mock draft so far has me going to Tampa Bay, which would be wild. But why is it that... The Lions, who are in desperate need of a... I guess my value maybe just isn't as high as they have me. That's my biggest concern. But there is a lot of teams right now in desperate need of a quarterback. The number one pick, surefire, um, is Carlos Branch out of Oregon. This dude's top five. You saw in the game, he was 300 pounds. This dude's a beast. Um, he was. He had like four years. He didn't make mistakes at Oregon. Kind of a Justin Herbert type. He's going number one. I don't expect to get in front of Noah Parks. He took over for Johnny or for Corey Harris and had like one of the best college football seasons of all time. Better than mine. And I broke like every record. There are more points. My biggest issue why these teams won't draft me in this range is because of the interceptions. I just hope that one of them takes a chance, bro. I really, really hope... Obviously, the Bucs would be a great fit. I'm curious about Atlanta. Who is Atlanta's quarterback? Like, what is... Is Atlanta completely off the table for QBs? Like, 
what did they have going on in Atlanta? They took Tanner McKee last year. So some of these teams addressed it last year. Atlanta addressed it last year. The Lions have not. Jared Goff still only 29 years old, though. So they don't look at this. And they actually, funny enough, they drafted a quarterback last year as well. The Lions, Tyler Van Dyke. So I think there is a very good chance. Packers, he's regressing. I think the Bucs is a great fit. If I can go to the Bucs, dude, I might start. They are a hurting unit. They are injured. They are really, really, really bad right now. Like, they are down horrendously. Uh, they do have Tony Grimes, who's a really good rookie. Their defense is pretty solid. Running back, Leonard. I Obviously, I would not be mad whatsoever if I go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Guys, let's, let's draft day. Let's go. We're watching as a fan. I am the Bengals. I will switch as soon as I get drafted. We are watching this as a fan. And I want to see all my players and all my friends get drafted. Round pick number one is this crazy running back from the series. Um, I would be shocked if they don't go running back. I, I really, really, really would. They go Isaiah Knight. He is apparently generational. He's unbelievable. This is where the Ravens are in desperate need of a quarterback. Also, I am just waiting. Jeremy freaking Ross, dude. Oh, I might cry when Jeremy Ross gets drafted. Second pick. This is probably a quarterback. If the mock drafts are correct, there's a good chance it's a quarterback. And it is Carlos Branch out of Oregon. They go that direction. I can't be mad at them. Um, number one team in the country going into the national championship until Eastern Michigan, us, beat them. But definitely you can't go wrong with him. He's, he's a super, super, super um, talented dude. Carlos Branch goes to pick three. Nathan Pace, Payton, outside linebacker from Oregon State. Guys, this is, I'm actually sweating over here. Vikings need a QB. Oh, take me, Minnesota. I would love, I love Minnesota. It's like, it's like the Canada of the U.S. I would be such a good fit there, but I'm worried they're going to take the other dude. And they go Noah Parks. I just feel like they're going to regret that. I really, really, really do feel like they're going to regret that. The Texans have Corey Harris. You know that the Texans are not going quarterback. They have Corey Harris open and shut. Um, I think they pro this could be Jeremy Ross. I, yo, you could have given Corey Harris Jer the best receiver in the nation, bro. And he's sliding. Oh my gosh, they go tight end. The Giants, with Justin Herbert, could get themselves a generational receiver here, and they don't. Could Jeremy Ross, is he slipping due to his drops in college? Is he sliding? Jeremy, the Lions, will the Lions go receiver? That is the billion dollar question. Will they go receiver? They go tackle. Just like the mock draft said, they go Kylo, Kyle Derby out of Detroit. Pick number eight, Jeremy Ross still on the board. How though, man? Oh, this guy, I don't know about that. I think the Bears are locked in with Fields. I don't think this is us. Trent Parks goes. New York Jets. I do not know. I did not look at the Jets. I think game-wise, I want to say they drafted a quarterback last season. When I did the draft, I don't know if they're looking for a quarterback. I don't think they are, but this could be us. This could be Jeremy Ross. I cannot believe that Jeremy Ross has not been taken. Dude got cheated. Bang! Let's go, man! Top 10 pick, Jeremy Ross. Hashtag Jeremy Ross goes to New York. We'll have to see who his teammates are, bro. I think he's playing with Zad. They got a steal at pick number nine. Dude broke every record in college football. New England Patriots decide to go Richard Caldwell. The Chargers are on the clock with pick 11. They don't have Herbert anymore. I don't know who their QB is. Could we be moving to Los Angeles, sunny Los Angeles, to go rebuild a team who lost their quarterback in Justin Herbert? And we are not. Thurman Dotson goes to the Chargers. Oh my gosh, round one, pick number 12. The Cardinals are on the clock. Cardinals have Kyler Murray, I think for like 40 more years. This won't be us. It, it won't be Kyler Murray. Um, at least I would be shocked if it was Kyler Murray. And they go, if it was us, and they go on Rike Creighton. Dude, the Texans are so set up. Corey Harris has a great amount of weapons around him. 
he really, really, really does. When you think about it, like, that dude has some freaking weapons. If they grab, they took the best, they took a generational tight end who won the award. If they go line, they're gonna, they're gonna help out Corey Harris. Okay, this is where it could be us. Atlanta, I don't know about Atlanta. What they're saying, I, I think they took Tanner McKee last year. I don't know if he was the answer. I don't know how his stats were. I don't know. I, I honestly don't. I would love to go to Atlanta. Favorite team growing up. They go Enrique Lamb. The Miami Dolphins. Tua. I don't know how Tua is doing in this game. Could this be Tua? Could this be us? They go Enrique Franklin. The Denver Broncos. Guys, I think there's a very good chance that the writing is on the wall and we may be a Tampa Bay freaking Buccaneer to rebuild a team who just lost Tom Brady in the offseason. A potential start right away job. Tony Higgins. Oh my gosh! Oh! Tampa! The, every mock draft had me going here. Are we going to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer to take over a franchise who just lost the greatest quarterback they ever had. Are we going to the Bucks? Bang! Let's freaking go, man! Eastern Michigan, Brad Barrett is going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh my gosh. That was one of the coolest things. I, I'm surprised it went exactly how the mock draft had it. But when I looked at the teams, and how everything was going. I thought there was a good chance I was going there. Just the way the first two picks, and there was a lot of teams who didn't need quarterbacks kind of after. And that's part of the reason I was like, I think there's a legitimate chance that I may be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Just the way it all worked. Brady in this, um, in this league actually just retired. So they are a bit of a mess at a lot. This is a great fit. This is a great fit. You got Worfs to protect me. Godwin, Vita Vea, two linemen superstars. I can't think of a better fit. One of the best lines in the game. Devin White, a star, a great defense. They just picked up Tyler Boyd in the offseason. They paid him to come play here. They have a superstar. One of the best defenses in the game. Um, and then I go there, and I'm competing with Jordan Love. And Grayson McCall. Okay, I'm back. My bad. I go and I am immediately. Do they have other picks? This is the thing. How many picks do the Bucks have? I would love, guys. I think we potentially just went to one of the better. How many picks do they have this year? They have two forty nine three. I think they could potentially go receiver. Get me some weapons to play with. Godwin is hurt. It looks like going into the season. It's Tyler Boyd, Van Jefferson. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to see all of our players get selected. Oh, Yo, yeah. I could have... I That could have been me. Which wouldn't have been bad, but it wouldn't have been good. The Bengals took a quarterback. Guys, my brain's about to explode about what's happening. I don't understand what happened to Joe Burrow. Is he okay? I am beyond confused. We're going to figure this out all after. I do not know what is happening in this franchise. But it looks like there is a legitimate chance that Joe Burrow decided to leave Cincinnati. Yo, shut up! No, he didn't! Andrew Gilmore, Eastern Michigan, goes round number three, pick four. Shout out, Andrew. Sorry, my brain's going crazy here. The Lions, I don't think Burks is Troy Burks. Let's go, man! Troy Burks, neither of them are going to be playing with us, but Troy Burks, the Bears just got a great player. The Bears just got a super, super, super great player. Troy Burks is going to Eastern Michigan. Okay, I want to see the rest of the Bucks picks. The rest of the Bucks picks are what matters most to me at this point. I want to see who they take, because these are my teammates. I missed the other one because I just obviously was not used to the logo, but I want to see who the Bucks take. I'm hoping receiver, young receivers, um, we already got a really, really good old line. I can't believe that there's a chance that Joe Burrow literally left and I could have played with Kishwent. It's actually wild that if I would have slipped, the next quarterback taken went and played with Kishwent. Wild to me. But I think Burrow, I'm guessing it. Raphael wrote from Michigan. 
The Michigan Connection. Raphael wrote, oh my gosh. Okay, that's sick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, round four, pick 17. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are once again on the clock. This is my, dude, I'm, Tampa Bay used a first round pick on me. I'm winning some stuff for Tampa Bay. Like this is so freaking sick. I promise I will win rings. We gotta, this is about Matt Borden, they go defense. Okay, round five, this will be the last pick that we'll watch and then we'll be able to see everything in draft recap before we actually switch this to a player career um, where I will be able to see all my stats and everything, which I, I can't wait for, by the way. Um, let's see. Marco McDonald. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to recap. It's We're about to see our team for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, bam, fellas. Oh my, okay, first thing I wanna say, Joe Burrow is on the Bengals, that was a glitch. Uh, I don't freak out, that was, Joe Burrow is in the Bengals. Guys, this is me, bro. This is freaking me. Brett Barrett, quarterback, number time. For the first time ever, I actually have not seen this. I am about to see what my stats are, how I'm looking, what my development is, Let's go for the first time, see our player card. Okay, 73 overall. We're bronze development. Okay, that's, we got, that's gonna, 90 throw power, 88 deep accuracy, 82 medium, 78 short, 81 speed, 86 acceleration. These are all fair stats. Um, I'm not looking at those being like, oh, that's horribly done. Those are all completely fair stats um, for us. Guys, I just can't believe how cool this is. I, I honestly, I, I really, I want to cry. This is the coolest series ever. We drafted you because we love your talent and we drafted you on the team, but you didn't play much in college. We honestly don't know. That's what presented about you. You'll be playing the first quarter of our games. I earned 300 XP um, for that. Guys, this is about as cool of a thing as I've ever done. I am officially a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. I can't, it's crazy to me that yeah, I'm currently the backup, as it stands. I don't know if that's just for preseason, though. Like, I am a better overall right now than Jordan Love. I think there's a very good chance that they had a not great season last year, that they go with me. I think we, are, we could be in a start now situation. I don't know. That's wild to me. I am a QB of the future and a day one starter. He's a bridge QB. The fact that his tag says bridge QB, guys, there's a good chance we're going to be starting. Um, our running back. Ooh, Raphael Rout from Michigan. How is he at the freaking? We got too many. Hey, still beautiful. Leonard Fournette. We got Dobbins um, on this team. Great running backs. This is huge because coming in as a rookie quarterback, probably the most important thing is the running back situation. JK, Fournette, White, Rout. We got good running backs, which is awesome to see. Um, receiver. Oof. Godwin's hurt. I think he's out for most of the season. Um, Tyler Boyd's our one. Van Jefferson, Jalen Darden, Frank Darby. We got a rookie in Barry McKinney out of Miami. I think he was our seventh round pick. And then we got Devin Thopkins. It's not a great receiving core. Tyler Boyd's my best guy coming in. I like Tyler Boyd a lot. Great player. Runs crisp. Awesome routes. I'm excited. Van Jefferson's an underrated dude. This is a hurt in receiving core, though. There is not a lot of receivers, you can tell in free agency, who really wanted to come here. Uh, and I can live with that. At tight end, we got Kate Otten. Paris Johnson out of Ohio State. They've done such a good job with this offensive line. Like, I, honestly, guys, this is a team that defensively, like, we're good. We got Vita Vea, Shaq Barrett, two Barretts on the team. Devin White, who's a superstar in this. Um, Joe Tieran. I can't exactly, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. He's a superstar. You got Jamal Dean, Tony Grimes, who's a beast, Zion McCollum. You got superstar Antoine Winfield, Derek Forrest, friend of the channel, Mike Edwards. There is a lot right about this situation. There is more right about this situation than there is wrong. I am, could not be happy. I want to go look before we go into our practice. I want to see though, I just can't believe we're going to be, we have a chance to start, but I just want to see this dude, bro. I want to see him. Jeremy Ross, 78 overall, 96 speed, 95 Excel, rookie, hidden development. 
He's got to work on his swag a little bit. He's a day one starter. He probably starts in front of Elijah Moore and Corey Davis and gets to play with Garrett Wilson. So Garrett Wilson and Jeremy Ross together with Zach Wilson throwing him the ball. Malik Cunningham, who got drafted last season. That is dangerous. I cannot wait. Every single episode, guys, we are going to be checking in on Jeremy Ross, and we are going to be checking in on Geschwent because Geschwent's a true second receiver now. Geschwent went from being a third to a, we had no money, we had to bring back Joe Burrow, a true second. Hopefully he can have a better year too. Um, and then Stephen Wilcox got drafted to be Joe Burrow's backup. Uh, guys, holy moly. Let's just, I just want to go to a weekly training. I am going to be getting the sliders. I'm not playing yet because it's going to take me a while. I'm getting, I got to get the sliders right. Um, I got to make sure that it's all perfect. I want it to be really difficult. I want it to simulate. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking cool. Tampa, I got to get Marco on the track, bro. I got to get Marco do, with doing a song for this. This is such an interesting franchise. Oh my goodness. Horrible. Okay, you can get a better camera angle. I don't... I'm, you can get a better camera angle um, for when you actually play. There's an on-field camera that's really cool. Holy... My brain's about to explode. Okay, these are these are my first two reps. Beam. Let's go! My throw motion is a little bit... Ah! It's a little interesting, but I look good in number 10, man. I look good in number... How do I move? Practice is always huge, too. That's a beauty of a throw cross field honestly the biggest concern of this team and how we're gonna do that that's a good throw as well is honestly our biggest concern is receiver if i can play this is not a surefire like it's not like getting drafted to like the freaking canton greats laser oh my god no this is a rough receiving core um i'm gonna actually retry this just because i want five more reps because i, I just feel like i want to really enjoy this my player, oh, this is the camera. Okay, see the camera right here? This is the camera we are gonna be playing on. It's quite in depth. Oh my gosh. And I'm hit. Welcome to the NFL, kid. Let's go now. Welcome to the NFL. This is the camera. So it, it's a good camera. It's, it, it works really, really, really good for this. It's close up. It go, looks set. nice. Um, it allows you to kind of, you gotta, you gotta play the pocket a little bit. Beautiful throw down the sideline. To, I believe 17 is Gage maybe, or 17 boy. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of this. It's all gonna be about pocket, dude. That's what this game's all about. That's a beam, good throw. Staying in the pocket. I can't drift like I did in college. That's just not an option. You, you really can't drift. You gotta stay up in the pocket. You gotta just be confident, make throws. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna try this one more time. Holy moly. We got sway. I like our player build a lot. I really like our player build. This is gonna be tough, bro. I already got the sliders quite a bit up. This is gonna be, it's all gonna be about pocket, staying up in the pocket, making those NFL type throws downfield is gonna be everything. And the high ball when you need to. That's a nice throw. Good. See, that's where it's going to be. The freeform passing and high balling and everything. Like, there I freeformed wrong. But the fact that we can freeform in this game is going to allow us to make a lot of really cool throws, I think. Like, away from the zones. Like, not that much, though. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen. There's not a whole lot I can say about that practice. performance today. We have we high aspirations as a team. Hey, Tampa Bay Buccaneer. The faster we get to 3,000 likes, the faster we have our preseason debut. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. I am bronze development, but I think there's a very better than good chance that we are the new starter for the new Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, in the NFL. Ladies and gentlemen, love you. Peace.